are now tuned in to the Van hey, Kenel hey, Show. Hey, 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 yeah. Tune in, I'm about to break it on in Podcast the energy for the sake of our friends Explore a little history and show them how it be though In the fields with the beats though, streets no keto Hey, the podcast where we keeping it live Stories told by artists, how we move and survive And if you ever need the need to turn off the radio We guarantee some love at the Van Keto Show With your host, your host, it's great Van Keto, Van Van Keto Welcome to Into Hip Hop History. On the line with me, I have Doughboy Dre. What up, Doe? What up, Doe? What up, Doe? What's going on? Shit. What's up with you? Man, just cool, man. Just working, trying to stay consistent, man. Cool. Love your work. Love your work. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Love your work too, man. I'm a fan of your work too, my guy. Thanks, man. That's 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 a lot, a lot of uh, love for me. Uh, um, all right. Tell me about where you're from. Uh, you know, from Detroit, West Side, uh, Linwood. I was raised on Atkinson, between 14th and LaSalle. You know, and that's just basically the west side of Detroit. Yeah. Got a lot of good history over there. You know, Rock Bottom, I don't know you I know you're probably familiar with Rock Bottom, but they from oh, over yeah. there. Oh yeah. They're from over there, yeah. Yep. Rock Bottom. They're dope. Um All right, uh how did Doughboy start? Well, you know, Doughboys were just like, it's like two groups. You know, you had Doughboys and you had Cash Out. You know, Doughboys, it was like basically just like me, Rock. You know, I'm going to live my boy, uh, Keith, mm-hmm. B. Smith, you know, a couple cats. Then, like, on the Cash Out side, it was like Payroll and Chaz and Kid. And, you know, basically, we just all just came together, like, pay him, went to school with us. Like, in ninth grade, we went to Southfield High. Then, 10th grade, he ended up going to Oak Park. And, you know, we always just kept, you know, yeah. kept in touch with one another, you know. And, you know, basically, at that high school, right. you know, we just really came together. Right. Uh, I hear you have an extensive musical family. Do you care to tell us about it? Would you, can you say that one more time? I, I said, uh, I hear you have a, a extensive musical family. Do you care to tell us about it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I come from a good musical background. I my uncle, Uncle Josie. You know, he out in Atlanta originally from Detroit, but... You know, at a young age, you know, me and my cousin Joe, he just, you know, we used to go out to Atlanta, like, every summer, like, when I was nine. Huh. And basically, he used to just have us, like, we'd be coming down there for summer vacation, and we'd be, you know, about to go outside or some play, and he would, like, yeah, um, <laughs> y'all got to make a rap, make your own rap. I'm going to come back, and y'all got to rap it to me, and me and my cousin used to be, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, yeah. man, we ain't come down here for all of that. <laughs> but, you know, that kind of, you know, worked out in my favor. You know, as time progressed. Yeah. You know, so I, I kind of thank him for that. He you know, it. and my uh, my grandpa, he was like a, he was a, like a Motown singer. He was in a group called the Chapman. Mm-hmm. And had like a good run, like in the early, like, well, late, like 70s, early 80s. All right. Uh, where does your, uh, musical, your, your love for music come from? Excuse me. Um, I can say just like, uh, again, like just at a young age, like my uncle, just, you know, putting that music, like, right there, because that was like, it was, it was his dream. So, you know, he passed it on to us, and like, ever since then, and you know, I always just had the love for music, like, all genres, I like R&B, 
I like jazz, rock, you yeah. know. So I listen to all type of genres. All right. Love your song about rock. How did his death impact the group? Yeah, um, you know, it was a hard blow for the, you know, the whole team, man, really for the whole city, really the whole world, man. It was just a, a low blow, you know, rock was a very pivotal part of, you know, our group, man. And, uh, mm. you know, it was just a messed up situation, man, that happened with that man, but, um, you know, we just try to keep striving and, you know. Just keep on keep pushing. Keep working, doing, yeah, keep doing better, which I know he want us to do. Mm-hmm. Like, we working on a, um, but we don't have no release date on it, but we working on a new group tape. It's going to be called on Leah Rock, so oh. we working on that. That should be, I'm going to just say, like, 2020, probably like spring 2020. That'll be dope. That'll be dope. Uh... How do you feel about the Detroit hip hop scene? Um, I love it, man. You know, like, cause like I said, from us coming from, you know, rock bottom and street lords and, you know, all the type of cats. Cause for a minute, it was like Detroit rap was at a, like, kind of a halt. It was like at a standstill for a minute. Like, you know, Motown and we got, all the rappers, like, the underground rappers, it wasn't really nobody really mainstream like that, but like, right. Eminem, but you know, M, like, he's from Detroit, but people from Detroit actually want to be seeing people that they see, like, you could walk to the store yeah. and probably see one of us, or yeah. go to an event and see one of us, like, people yeah. very rarely see Eminem, yeah. so, for a minute, it was just M and then you know, like Big Shine, like we did the track, you know, with Big Shine. That was a good collaboration we did, like in 2012. But from that point to now, it wasn't really nobody, you know. Then we got in there, got our foot in there. Then you know, Dave Loft and P Grizzly, and mm. so far from. So you know, I like, I like the, you know, it's different, man. Like I like to evolve. Of the music, I like I like all the new, you know, the young cats. They bring in a lot of good energy. I just try to feed off the young cats, you know, go in with the times because times have kind of changed. You know? Right? Do uh, people uh, fan out when they recognize you? And the other? yeah, man, <laughs> everywhere, man. You they know, start weird and be- being weirdos, yeah. huh? <laughs> well, I try to be, hey, I try to be as low key as possible, man. And you know, I go to the store, and go to McDonald's anywhere, you know. They, somebody always seems, you know. Uh, uh, that shit's fucking. Uh, that's some shit when somebody does that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking weird. You know, out. I love it though, man. To be, you know. Uh, you know, I love it, man. I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, I try to be low-key, but it's always good to be acknowledged, you know, for yeah. the work you've been putting in. Yeah. Uh, do you think we will see any collabs with your legendary uncle from Triplex, Uncle Josie? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. We got some work being up. Uh, we really got a lot of stuff in work, you know. And, uh, definitely, definitely. He got a lot of like over these tracks, you know. Um, he has been doing his producing thing, so he's been on the, uh, you know, making them good beats. So yeah, we definitely going to be doing some work. Cool. Uh, tell us about uh your first album and your new album. Okay. Um, well, my first album, well, solo album I dropped was uh, Not Guilty. And that was just basically based off of, uh, you know, a little situation that had happened, like, back in 2013. Right. You know, I was accused, you know, some allegations. Yeah. And, you know, it was, you know, it was kind of like a hard time in my life. We had just had fired, uh, you know, major yeah. deal with, like, CT and Atlantic Records. Yeah. So, that was kind of like a hard time for me to go through that. But, you know, yeah. that's over with, you know. I prevailed. Right. That was the first tape. I guilty. You know, 
I dropped that like 2015. 2015. And then, um, in July this year, I had dropped my second sophomore tape, which is I titled it High Times. Right. And that was just like, a, just a feel. It was just like a good feel I was feeling like. Yeah. You know, because of like a lot of the times on that, um, that tape, I was kind of like high. <laughs> so that's why I called it High Times, because that was just the feel yeah. like, it's just the feel of the whole tape. Every song, just a different feel. Yeah. I was feeling, you know. Right. Yeah, it's kind of like the state we live in, and it's a lot of people on, a lot of people on drugs. <laughs> you know, I just feel like it's high time, you know, so that's why I came with that. All right. Uh, give us that go-to song on your album, High Times. Well, you know, on High Times, like you said, I like the, um, Song I dropped, you know, dedicated to right, never be. That's a hot track. I like that. It was shot by my uh, this one videographer, young cat up out of Detroit named Cameraman Taz. Oh yeah, I watched his pretty dope. Yeah, he shot the video for me. That was the I, I kind of love that video, but I love that song. I got another video I'm actually about to drop probably this week off the tape called Get Rich. Yeah. And this was a um, talented singer by the name of uh, Blazing. Mm. And, you know, just talent. You know, Detroit got so much talent, man. And I just want to try to bring you to the forefront. I think you already answered this question, but when will the Doughboys, the group Doughboys, be releasing another album? Oh, yeah. You are like right. I said, um, yeah. we've been working. We actually did a track. We just did a... Um, about a week ago, we just did. Um, we had a little season arena. We just did the concert with Jeezy. Mm-hmm. We actually supposed to shoot the video for a track that we just recorded, but we didn't end up doing it. But we got that in the uh, still in the works. But All right, I'm gonna just say like, like 2020 spring. All right. All right, that's good. Um. <clears throat> Let's see, uh, who your top five rappers? Hey, top five all the time. Mm-hmm. Yep, all the time. Um, in any order. Yeah, in any order. It don't matter. Uh, um, I probably have to say, for my favorite, probably Pot. I'm a big Tupac fan. Um. So I'm going to say, like, Pot. Jay Z, um, probably Lil Wayne, cause he he is like for sure from the two thousand to now. I probably say Lil Wayne. He was like definitely a dope artist of you know this generation. Mm-hmm. So I probably say Wayne, um, Dmx. DMX, I, I, I love DMX. Oh, yeah, just, DMX is. Yeah, man, I, I, just, I love X, man. I say probably DMX, Hot, Jigger, Wayne, and probably. Um, I probably have to say Blade Icewood from the city, man. He was, right. you know, That's he a big piece. part of Detroit music, the whole culture. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we definitely. Imitated what them guys do. Like when we was younger, we definitely looked up to them. And he definitely a big part of Detroit. So I probably say for that age. Right. I uh, I'll be waiting on your collab with your uncle. Uncle. Oh yeah, uncle yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to my uncle, uncle Jose, man. Grouch. You know. Yes. Shout out to Outlaws Live Radio. You know, we got some work. <laughs> you know. Got some stuff in the works. But yeah, we can, you can definitely you can be looking out for that in the future. Uh, what's your uh, social media handles and uh, streaming platforms? Oh, yeah, you can go download Not Guilty or High Time. They're on all platforms iTunes, Apple Music, Tidal, Google Play. Um, and, um, Basically, you can just follow me on Instagram. I just got Instagram right now. You can follow me on Instagram at Doughboy 
underscore Dre. And that's like my own like social media page. You can check me out on YouTube too. Just type in Dope Boy Dre videos or type of song. Right. Um I appreciate your uh time and uh thanks for coming on the show. Man, I appreciate you, V man. I appreciate you, man. That we need this opportunity, man, just to you know, chop it up with you, man, and you know If you uh, have... be a part of your legendary platform too as well. Yes, sir. If you have any other uh of your partners to, you know, give me an interview. Let me know, all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll yeah we can do that, man. We get, like I said, we can get the whole group. We can get the whole group one by one, man. I can get all you yeah, at one time. <laughs> Two, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah anytime. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, it. we just have to set up a big, you know, conference. Exactly. All right, bro. Uh, thanks for your time and have a beautiful day. Oh yeah, appreciate you, man. You do the same, man. Happy holidays. Man. I'll play you. Everybody, your... look out for that new music, twenty twenty, man. We coming strong, man. Bala, Overlord, BBC for life. You know what I mean? I'll play. Uh, never be at right after you get off the line with me. Okay, cool, so, bitch. So, uh, that, was a, that was dope. Yeah, I know. It was dope, dope track, for sure. Yeah, yeah, sure, that was bro. dope. Uh, don't check that out, and I got another uh, video out right now called Pocket Watch. Hey, uh, let, send, send, me, uh, send me that uh, when you do that video, text me that... Uh, Text me. Oh yeah, the new one I'm about to drop too. Yeah, I'm gonna send that. I'm gonna send you the link soon, man. Yeah, send me the link. That way, I uh, I can always uh, like uh, click on a bill on your YouTube too. So. Mm -hmm. But uh, all right. Thanks, thanks a lot for coming on the show, and we'll be talking to you soon. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Bless. All right. All right. That's Wake you up and fight you You know them niggas jealous, they ain't like you I heard the feds try to indict you I wish we could go back to high school They killed my nigga Rocky, was a main man I swear I'd never be the same man Free all my niggas locked in that can All I need is money, I don't need friends They killed my nigga Rocky, was a main man I swear I'd never be the same man Free all my niggas locked in that can All I need is money, I don't need friends
Thanks for joining me on Into Hip Hop History. You can find us on all platforms. Please tune in. Uh, shout out to Outlaw Live Radio. My dude from Canada. Check them out. The link will be in the description. So I guess that's it. I'm out.